I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope uh, we have a good sound coming from your side and we pray that we will have a great time learning together. Let me know please if you have any problem hearing me. Uh, uh, Muhammad then he uh, put uh, a comment in the comment section in the previous video and uh, I will show you the comment for sure and we welcome all the Muslims to make as many comments as they can and for sure maybe later I can open Skype if there is anyone from the Muhammadan uh, cult would like to or dare to call us so if we go to the uh, comment we don't want to waste time because you know science and time work together and Muhammad is the best scientist so we have our friend here mr. Uh, uh, sorry I said our friend Muslims are not allowed to take a Christians and Jews as a friends chapter 5 verse number 51 because Islam is a religion of hate not as they say to you a religion of peace a Muslim even he's not allowed to take his own family his own parents his mother and his father as a friends or to love them if they are not Muslims Ishmael Muhammad said and here we see the Islam again, the cult of Muhammad is stealing names. What do you have to do with Ishmael? Actually, this is something we hear always from people who they are even Christian. They say to you that Muslims are from Ishmael. That because your priest is an ignorant. And ignorant these days is a, a very popular. Very, very popular. Uh, Ishmael have nothing to do with, with the Arab specifically. Uh, first, the Arab is not an ethnic. Secondly, the Arab are people of the desert. Number three, Ishmael is a son of Abraham, he is not an Arab, and his, his wife uh, Hajar, she was an Egyptian, and then his wife, she took him, you can find the reference in Genesis, uh, sorry, the mother, she took Ishmael to Egypt and she married him from an Egyptian woman. So how, how in the world the son became uh, an Arab? But what you can say, you know, if, you are, if, you are, if your teacher is a donkey, what you expect, right? So uh, let us uh, open some tools here so we can highlight and people they can see. All right. Uh, so here uh, Ishmael, he said, Mr. Ishmael, who, who did not even know what Ishmael mean because it's a story name as usual. Uh, if you ask a Muslim what Abraham mean, he do not know. What Ishmael mean, he do not know. Who is Israel? Uh, they have to go to the Bible. <laughs> Or to the hadith. I mean, what, what a stupid Quran. <clears throat> now here we see uh, Mr. <clears throat> Ishmael, he said, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Actually here you see that Muslims are uh, pagan and they don't worship one God. They associate a man with God. In fact, the word in Arabic here, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, mean Allah, he pray on him and salute him. Have you ever heard? A God he pray on a man and he salute him I don't know if you've been in the army in the before or if you've been a soldier the one who salute first is the one who is less in the rank anyway and Allah he pray on Muhammad that's even better uh, but here he says uh, he was more than a scientist for sure he was more I mean 
Fact, scientific fact. Every living thing was made of water. I mean, this is the most stupid statement ever you can say to me. Everybody knows that living being, any, anything. Have you ever heard of a goat? She is water free. Have you ever heard of a, uh, of a bird is water free? Have you ever, I mean, this is, this is, everybody knows that there's no water, people will die. This is not even, uh, you know, discovery, but look what your prophet did. Your prophet, he said, every living thing was made of water, but did he forget the Quran? He said in the Quran that genie is made of fire. Did he forget that he said in the Hadith that angels are made of light? Did he forget that he said in the Quran that the moon and the sun, they worship him and they talk to him and they refuse to accept the, the trust of Allah? So who is here the, 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 the stupid person? We can count. Uh, you know, you see, the, the Muslim, they say, if this is a book not from Allah, you will find in it other, other contradiction. So let us go. So the, the first one is easy to debunk. Actually, we did already. But let us go and see what the Quran says about what you just said. And now he will say this Quran is a da'if Quran. Everything is da'if in Islam. Oh, this is not the, what we want. Where is the, where is the, the Quran? Huh. Let us go to the Quran. I open the Quran. I find the chapter of the cow. I think the computer, he think I'm a Hindu. Okay, Marij Minnar. Uh, switch to Arabic. Is that your Quran or this is a weak Quran? Chapter, chapter 55, verse number 15. Uh, and the jinn, did he create them from smokeless uh, uh, flame of fire? So, uh, uh, so he is made of fire, but he, uh, he you know, he lived by water. I, I see. You see, when God created Adam, he created him by using water. So water as a substance is part of our creation and that's why we need it. So we can continue what God he made. But here, your God, he created him from very blazing fire and there is no water in there. Now, uh, somebody might say to you, oh, there is a, there is a, a you know, there is water. If you notice with me here, it says a smokeless. Smokeless. Uh, this kind of a fire does not have uh, the uh, water. Uh, same time, uh, if Allah, he said, I made him from fire. In different verse, he said, I made every living cre cre creatures from water. Obviously, even Allah, he understand that water and fire are not the same. Otherwise, he would say, well, I made the genie from water because simply, uh, fire burn, uh, you know, water, uh, uh, we solve the problem. However, uh, your prophet, uh, Mumu, uh, we go to the hadith to show some hadith, you know. Uh, the hadith says, let us open some. This is your prophet, and now he will say to me, this is a weak prophet. We, had, we agree, Muhammad is a very weak prophet, and what you can do about it. No vitamin can fix it. This is your weak prophet saying a very weak hadith, which is authentic, again, saying that angels were born out of light. And by the way, this is a false translation. Uh, and this is why Islam is a very corrupt religion. The Muslims, they try to fix the stupidity of the one who made the statement. So they try, they say, angels were born out of light. And then we ask them, it's born from where? That is the most stupid statement ever. Uh, uh, but in Arabic, it says, The angels were created out of light and the jinn were born out of a spark of fire. So here you see, it's a spark of fire. It's not even a fire, spark of fire. And Adam was born, and so here you see, like, uh, out of a clay. So here he put for you all the creation he made, supposedly, and in one statement, that angels are made of light, is angels are living things? If you say to me, in the earth, will angels, they live in the earth? Don't you, Muslim, you claim that angels are with you when you pray? Who is in your right and who is in your left? Hmm? So, angels are made of light, 
Do angels drink water, Muslims? If somebody can help us, please leave your comment and tell us yes. Angels, they drink and they eat shish kebab. And uh, here we have the, the genie is made of fire. And then he said, Adam, we made him out of clay. And this is the only one in the creation of so-called Allah, Aka Muhammad, uh, is out of clay. And as you see, this is very authentic hadith, but still it's da'if because Islam is a da'if. And this is the only refuge Muhammad and they have to escape the humiliation. So now we go back to the second statement he, uh, he said. So the first one, it turned to be stupid. Not only that, actually, I forgot. You're a prophet he used uh, to say assalamu alaikum to stones and stones talk to him. Isn't it the black stone is a living thing is going to witness for you in the day of judgment is going to have ears and, and mouth and tongue literally. When your prophet was saying assalamu alaikum and the the, the, the shit is stone for us to you know uh, each time this is stone you know Muhammad he walk by it uh, this stone cannot resist the temptation I mean put yourself in the shoes of the, the stone you are a stone from the stone age and now you see Prophet Muhammad and he is so sexy and you know it and what you can do you have to say to him, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa you know. Same time, uh, let us show the, the uh, not only that, actually, there's a hadith. Anytime Muhammad, he go anywhere, stones, rocks, mountains, uh, trees, all of them, they talk to Muhammad and say to him, Assalamu alaikum, Prophet. Which is true, by the way. I mean, happen all the time. It happened to me. Hmm? Uh, let us see uh, where we can find uh, well, look like this hadith is not uh, in this website uh, let us see if we, uh, let us find different hadith yeah there's a hadith that says all not only stones uh, even trees everything he was to say assalamu alaikum to Muhammad let us find a different one because it's something we can find in English here we go. This is a very authentic hadith, as you see. I recognize the stone in Mecca, which used to pray, to, to pay me solution before my advent as a prophet, and I recognize it, and I recognize that even now. My friend, your prophet, your prophet, he's mentally ill. He hear voices. Now, statement you say that every living thing is made of water. Is water made of rocks? And is rocks, or do rocks are living things and they have they drink water? So your statement is really silly. And not to forget to mention, actually, I just remember, there is a verse in the Quran that it says that uh, uh, the source of water is rocks let us find it <coughs> uh, let us see here Read with me this verse and tell me if I am wrong. I know this, uh, let us see here, it's chapter 60, verse number 74, but it's not appearing here. Here we go, actually, here we go. For among the rocks there are some from which river gush forth. Now you can say, well, he don't mean the water is coming from rocks. The you know he is saying that it comes from the ground. That's false. It says from rocks, rivers, 
goes forth. But anyway, so what you claim is very funny, and anyone in the world knows that without water, nobody can live, you know. Uh, unless you are Volkswagen, you do not need water for your derator. Uh, so a very silly argument from a very silly religion, from a very uh, silly uh, cult, trying to prove their profit. Second, he said, scientists did not discover until 1931 the zone, the ozone layer, 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 not liar, layer, Quran 2131, 32. Who is the Muslim would like to call me in Skype and read for me the verse? Who is a Muhammadan would like to call me and prove to me that Muhammad, he discovered the ozone through the Quran? Let me open my Skype. I just learned something new from you. Actually, we, I know about it from before. You know, I have it in my books, actually. But uh, I learned from you, Muslims, that Muhammad is really, really amazing person. He was able to discover the ozone. I mean, who can discover the ozone? Only Muhammad. Uh, we are going to use this account. Let us see. Search for Arabian Prophet Christian Prince, the one we used before. Um, yeah, Arabian Prophet Christian Prince slash Christian Prince. And you will be able to contact me. So, is it true really what the Muhammadan here are saying? Who is a Muslim would like to join us? Today we are using a new Skype. Not the, it's, it's an old Skype actually. We used it before. Not the one I used last time. No, not this one. Not this one. Not this one, Lisa. The, the previous one. Arabian Prophet slash Christian Prince. Arabian Prophet, Christian Prince. All right. It is copy. Let me let me give you the link. Here we go. So who is a Muhammadan really? He would like to join us and tell us if this is a true statement or it's a fabrication made by the Muhammadan to make their prophet look like he is a scientific somehow. There is some truth about him or in him. Who is going to help us? Is it true? What you Muslim are staying, saying? If nobody call, actually that's me and the Muhammadan, they agree that Muhammad here is, you know, whoever made this statement, Zakir Naik, you know, Zakir Naik, he made a book. There's many Muslim made books and articles, millions of articles, hundreds of thousands of videos speaking about science and the Quran, speaking about the ozone layer. But is it true? Chapter 21, verse number 32. Anyone who want to take the challenge? Who is a Muhammadan would like to take the challenge? The question is very simple. You can do... Before you call me, prepare yourself and call me. Anyone? As you see, the Muhammadan are not responding because they knew this is absolutely fabrication. It's going to be an embarrassment if a Muhammadan, he call me and he decide to prove that this is what the Quran is saying. So if nobody call, we will give it a minute or two. If nobody would contact us, I'm going to open the verses and we will see if this is true or not. Uh, if, if people who send me, uh, you know, questions in Skype, please, Christians, please, you can ask in the chat. I mean, so they all, everybody, I'm, I'm reading the chat. Why you want to send me a, a, 
a text in Skype. Skype, we made it. When we say a Christian can call me, nobody call. All right? Uh, or other person saying to me, how are you? Yeah. I don't know. Ask my grandma. Anyone? Who is a Mohammedan would like to show us in chapter 21, verse number 30? Uh, uh, sorry, chapter 21, verse number 32. And look, you know, the, the science is lined up in the same chapter. 21, 30, 21, 32. That's amazing, man. Look like we're stuck in number 21. Actually, I like chapter 21. You know, remind me of my age. You know, next year I will be 21. Alhamdulillah. I mean, this is the most stupid uh, 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 chapter you can give me even to prove science. But aren't you really ashamed even that people will go and read? Hmm? Uh, but let us go to the verses they chose. Any Mohammedan? Actually, here we have in chapter verse number thirty, he mentioned that he made uh, Allah. He made it from every living thing, uh, uh, from water. But he forgot to use other one in the same verse. The Muslim they claim that this verse is about uh, the Big Bang. But you know, people are blind and stupid. Don't you see? Don't the unbelievers see that the heaven and the earth were joined together? as between two bracket one unit of a creation before we love them asunder so you see here right away it says don't they see so this is something we can see what what how how we can see so it's you know you look you see that the sky is up and the earth is down so according to the stupid muhammad this is how allah he split the earth from the heaven they used to be together brother but the fact we are inside the sky we are not even a little dust in this massive, huge, you know, universe. Not even a dust. So how we are really not in the, the heaven? So the silly Muhammad, uh, in different verse in the Quran, he confirmed that Allah, he made the sky as a roof. And actually we will go there and we will read and we will laugh uh, in the same verse, the same chapter actually. But what you see here, the Muslim, they say this is about the Big Bang. But as you see, this is something we can see. And this is about the earth and the heaven are exist. But they used to be together. The Big Bang doesn't say that. So, you know, stupidity is amazing. It's in front of you, the answer in front of you. Uh, do we have any Muhammad that would like to call us? Isn't it more light as a Muslim? Isn't it this guy Moonlight is a Muslim? Why he don't call us Moonlight? Be honest with me, Moonlight. Did your mom say to you never speak to Christian Prince if I am not there? Huh? And now he will he will play dead. I mentioned his name, so he will play dead. He will not he will stop texting. Are you there, Moonlight? I'm just trying to understand Jesus and my life, my friend. No need to be upset. My friend, we are not here to understand Jesus now. Why you are here to understand Jesus when the, the title is Prophet Muhammad? Don't you see that you are a hypocrite kid trying to, des to, to divert the people from laughing at your prophet? Do you think it's going to work? We are laughing at you. Did you see my topic now? Let us understand Jesus. And how Abdul, he believed drinking camel urine is healthy, can understand Jesus. How Abdul, he think that wine is bad and urine is good, will make him understand Jesus. Okay, let me block you. As long as you will not join with us in the conversation, we have no need for you. You are just taking away people from the topic. 
So don't the believer see? Don't moonlight see? Hey, you don't see. This guy, he believed that there is a shaitan. He take hair from his anus. And he is coming here to understand Jesus. Okay, how we can explain Jesus to you when you are a person, somebody play with your anus. And you believe in that. And you accept it as a fact. Can you record it? So you can get me busted. There is a very advanced slow cameras, slow motions, in every form these days. You can put it behind your anus and see if the prophet is saying the truth. You see, we do not need to see the shaitan. At least we can see the hair. I mean, the hair is physical. Even though shaitan is a physical, even Muslim, they believe he has sex with them. But at least record the hair coming out, man. It's a miracle. You know, and don't forget to say, ouch. Because I think it's going to hurt badly. You know, I mean, like, what the heck? So look who is talking about understanding Jesus. Somebody believed that shaitan have sex with his wife if he did not say prayer before the enter so course. Allahumma zindibna shaitana. Like imagine now the wife, she is horny. She took off her panty and she is ready for the husband. And now the husband is time to make a prayer. Allahumma zindibna shaitana wa zindibna shaitana ma razaktana. Allahumma. And the woman, she's talking. Hey, honey, what, how, where do you go? We are going to start soon. <laughs> Did you finish, honey? You're a prayer. <laughs> anyway, so as you see, this is a very stupid statement made by your prophet. Not only that, it says here, Allah, he said, I mean, uh, this, this chapter is a treasure of stupidity. And we have set on the earth mountains standing firm, lest it should shake on them. So your stupid prophet, he think that he, Allah, he placed mountain in the top of the earth. But all scientists agree, including me, as you know, I am a scientist. I have a, I have a driving license and this is proven it, you know. Uh, uh, mountains is coming from inside the earth, not somebody throw them in the top of the earth. So your prophet, he claimed that mountains uh, is a, a piece of rocks. Allah, he put them in the top of the earth because the earth is a carpet. Uh, and we can go actually see, see more verses until now no Muslims is contacting us. It's a miracle. Okay. Uh, somebody have a Muslim want to talk to me, but uh, I don't give a date for talking. You can call me when I'm live. So as we see here, Muhammad making a silly statement proving him to be false again. Let us see. If we if we go to the Quran we will see the mountains is mentioned many times. Uh, in the Quran, but we need uh, something to help the Muslims. Not to mention, not to forget to mention that according to Islam, hail is coming from mountains in heaven. Let us see. And not only that, by the way, even mountains are believers and they pray to Allah. They are living being. Chapter 38, verse number 18. Let us see here. Uh, yeah, let us see this one. Chapter 78, verse number 7. And the mountains as pigs, which mean the mountains are like nails. So according to the Quran, Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. He made the earth as a flat. As you see, the first translation here say it says actually it says Mihadan, 
we had it can be bad that's true uh, but what is meant here is flat you can open the interpretation and you can read it he made the earth flat and he put the mountain in the top of it as you know as nails so the Quran confirmed that uh, mountains is something uh, uh, you know something he added in the top of the earth and actually even the Quran claiming that there is a point where Allah created the mountains in the top of the earth if we go to the different verse we will see it says Where he described in the in details how he created the earth if you remember hmm? let us go here In chapter uh, uh, 41, verse number 9, uh, Allah, he said, he created the earth in two days. Then he says, and he, then he placed therein firm mountains in the top of it. Do you see it says he placed therein? I mean, that's make it so clear, right? So now it's confirmed clearly that he placed the mountains in the top of it. And then after that, he says, uh, and then he went to the sky and he made them seven skies. So the sky was not, there's no sky actually. The sky was the last thing is created and the sky was a smoke. Ibn Kathir explained that the smoke was happening because from the earth, the smoke, the earth was many places in fire and the smoke came from the earth. And this is what the verse saying that and the sky was a smoke. But look what happened here. According to the Quran, Allah, he placed mountains firm in the top of the, uh, of the earth. Uh, 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 you know, as a scientific fact, uh, in different places actually, <clears throat> in chapter 21, verse number 31, the one we mentioned, it says that the reason Allah He placed the mountain in the top of the earth is because He don't He want to prevent the earth from shaking. Like you know, if you have a carpet, you have some wind, uh, anything can move it. So the more heavy stuff in the top of it is not going to move. Uh, but if you go to Japan, Japan is a country of mountains, but the country keep dancing non-stop, like there again, there again, there again, there again. Mountains actually is one of the reasons for them to exist is any stability not stability so mountains will not stabilize anything the mountains is a natural uh, uh, behavior of the ground when there is a pressure either a volcano or tectonic plates etc that pressure generate uh, mountains either from the magma from the volcano or from two tectonic plates they meet together and they start kissing each other violently so the mountain will grow and the mountain they go up so this is another mistake but here we have to uh, go where he said that Allah he created uh, the Prophet he discovered the ozone the ozone you know I find discovery of the ozone is amazing Prophet Muhammad how in the world he knew that how in the world look at this you know so if we read together and we have made the heaven a roof safe well guarded so here you see it says the heaven the heaven what is the lowest heaven in according to Islam is that the layer of the ozone no the lowest heaven according to the Quran is where is the stars located chapter 41 verse number 12 and then he completed them as seven heavens in two days and he assigned to each heaven its a duty and then we adorned the lower heaven with light uh, oh, so where is the where is the lamps the, the translation is false by the way it doesn't say light it says masabih 
I mean, I don't know who is this donkey. Translation of Yusuf Ali. Yeah, Yasser Qadi, he says this guy, he don't even speak Arabic. So I just see different idiot. World Masabih became light. Unbelievable. What happening to this world? Why everything is upside down? Uh, here it says, okay, see here it says, and we adorned the nearest or the lowest heaven, nearest to us, lower lower heaven, with lamps, stars. So according to your prophet, if, if the ozone is the discovery of what the Quran is saying in the other chapter, that's mean this is where this, the stars are located. So why Muslims, they are lying? Not only that. If we go and we read what the Quran is saying about those, uh, uh, about the protected sky, the protected sky is not the earth sky protected, it is the sky protected. Read carefully. And we have made the heaven a roof, safe, well guarded. It is the heaven is well guarded. What does that mean? Maybe Allah is speaking about the Mator. In fact, the opposite. Allah here, because Muhammad is so smart, he is genius. He claimed that Shaitan, he tried to steal information from Allah. But Allah, he will not allow Shaitan to steal too much. He will steal some. Because Shaitan is very, very, very smart. So here you see in chapter 15, it says that Shaitan, he will try to steal. But before that, we will see here, it says, uh, we guarded it from every outcast devil. What is guarded it? The heaven. Read the verse before it. So when the Quran speak about guarded heaven, this is not about guarded earth, that guarded heaven from who? From shaitan. So shaitan cannot enter the heaven. However, in different verses, we will find more explanation by the smart Muhammad, who is copying fairy tales and stories. If shaitan, he tried to grow out of the zone of the earth, in chapter 37 actually the same here we see it says uh, verse number uh, six after Allah he created this is verse number five he created the heaven and the earth and all that between them we adorn the lowest heaven hmm, with uh, uh, with the uh, uh, like uh, the planets and stars, etc. All right, so this is the lowest heaven where it is, and then, and with security, this is false translation again. It says, and we guarded it, protected it from every forward devil. Forward devil, that's a good translation. Forward, I never heard of such a thing. Shaitan in married, married. What I mean, this translation is really weird. Muhammad, what do you do when you translate? Are you using Mickey Mouse magazine? I mean, I cannot find the translation I can read. So here it says, and with security from every forward devil. Let us see different translation. I mean, those guys are really weird. Forward devil, this is Bictal. You must be a forward translation. Ah, here, look at this. This is different than forward devil. Like, I mean, this, this supposedly this person is a smarter, you know. Every rebellious uh, uh, devil. And even this one is false, but I'm not going to keep switching the translation. But let us go, let us go. And to guard against every rebellious, but batuta, uh, katuta, satan, but satan, okay? So when the Quran speak about Allah protecting the heaven, this is not about the layers of the ozone. It's about shaitan who try to steal information from Allah. And Allah, he guarded the heaven against him. And then, if he try to go up, brother, we shoot them. Except such a snatch away something. So look at Shaitan, he's successful. The defense of Allah is not working. Star War uh, uh, weapon is not working. It look like Allah is a is a 
is like Putin. He thought he can take Ukraine in two days, but it's not working. So they snatched his information and they got him busted. So except as such a snatch away something, some what you can what you can snatch from Allah, Muslims. What the shaitan can snatch from Allah? Please let me know. His ice cream, his microphone, his iPad, snatch something. Hmm? Except the one who snatch snatch by stealing. What the heck? That is true story. And they pursued by flaming fire, person bright. So do you see what protected roof mean? Why Muslims lie? Not only that, if this is not enough proof for you, I will show you even something more funny. Just yesterday, the American, they went to one guy, Russian or team of Russian to go to the sky, brother. But by the way, none of them, her name is Olga from Russia. So it says here that if anyone, any human or genie, Try to go out of the zone of the earth and the heaven. Allah, he said, if they try to go out of the zone of the earth, Allah will shoot them. So this is what protected roof mean. O oh, assembly of jinns and man, if you are power, if you have power to pass beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth, then pass the pass them, but you will not be able to do so except with authority of Allah. Now you ask the Muslims, who what does that mean? They say to you, the Prophet. Prophet, brother, Prophet Muhammad, he went in the top of flying donkey. All right. Hmm. Yeah. So you see how the Muhammadans they lie and they say that this is about protected roof. We have a person, his name is Mancho Man. How are you, Mancho Man? Why you don't call me? Are you saying to me I'm lying or they are lying? I don't know. Do we have any Muslim here when I say, why, why you lie? Why you say, <coughs> excuse me, I was singing, you know, uh, Allah, he ordered me to sing all day. And I said to myself, I cannot disobey Allah. Otherwise, will happen to me what happened to the Jews. They fished in Saturday, brother, and they woke up in the morning, they found themselves pigs and monkeys. True story. However, I have a friend, his name is Jack Shalom. He fished every Saturday. And then now, he don't look like a monkey. He looked like a mule. So why you lie? According to your city God, no human, no genie, no human can go to the space. That's also what we have in the space right now. You are saying Muhammad lies? How you try to cover yourself now, huh? Ah, okay, okay. So you see that so set number two is a lie. Okay, universe is expanding. Abdul. First of all, universe is expanding. This is something in the Bible, written thousands of years before your prophet even learned how to fart. So even if that is true, I copy somebody else's book, that will not make you a hero. Secondly, where in the verse it says Allah is expanding universe? Why Muslims lie? Here we go. What the verse is saying, that Allah, he can do more. <laughs> If you don't believe me, go and read the interpretation. Allah is capable of doing more. The Muslim, they lie and they say, oh, this is about expanding the universe. Shall we go and read the interpretation? interpretation? Chapter 51, verse number 47. 51, 47. Whatever Muslims say, I will take it. Okay. 51 47 anyone here from the Philippines you go in the bus the guy will say to you sir I have to pay you back 44 pesos I told him keep the money and say it one more time 
So he said, 44. I said, okay, keep them. He said, sir, I, I can I say it again? He gave me 44 pesos. I said, no, that's enough. <laughs> Do you see it? Allah, this is mean. Muwassi'un, it's mean. He has become capable and strong. Allah is more powerful. Where is the... Why the Muslim did not see that Allah is expanding the universe before? Why this is something now is coming? I mean, where have you been before, brother? This is 44 Alibaba, you know, story. <laughs> Let us see this guy, uh, Ibn Abbas. Okay, here we go. It says, we, ext we expand the provision, therefore. I mean, you can read the make a theory. I mean, they, they, it's silly, it's stupid, it's dummy, it's yummy, it's numb. Sorry, guys, I was, reader, I was talking to me right now. Here it says, <coughs> Uh, another, another, uh, so number three is a lie. Uh, iron is from space, not from Earth. Like what the heck? Iron is from the space, not from the Earth. All right. So how your stupid God, he created the Earth before he created the heaven, and then the iron is coming from the heaven. Isn't it the Quran says, he created everything on earth, everything on earth, and then he went to the sky and he made the seven skies. Should I hit my head in the wall now? Please don't tell me, please. I want to hit my head in the wall. You idiot. The Quran says, Allah, he created everything in the earth, and then he went to the heaven, and the heaven was a smoke, which means there's nothing. Don't you Muslim, you say, that if this is a book, have a contradiction, Mimi Hijab, he says to Borat, what is his name, Borat? No, not Borat, sorry. Uh, 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 what is his name, Patterson? This guy, Patterson, is really the most funny idiot ever. He was sitting like a mule, you know, like, uh, you know, I didn't know why he's there even. Anyway, but and he's famous. Look like when you are a mule, you are so famous. So, Mimi Hijab, he says to him, the Quran says, if this is a book, uh, no, actually, not Mimi Hijab, not, not Patterson, not Patterson. He, so he said that to Borat, Borat Erhaman, er whatever. Borat, Borat, the other Borat. Yeah, he said to him, the Prophet of Allah in the Quran, he says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. Borat, even he's stupid, he was smarter than Mimi Hijab and Allah. He said to him, will I have a yellow pages book, have zero contradiction, and it's made in Arabic? Does that mean it's made by Allah? Oh boy. But look what happened here. When the Quran says, if this is a book made by other than Allah, huh? uh, you will find contradiction. Okay. You are saying now, the Quran saying, Aaron sent from space. But the space was not exist when the earth was created. Let us go to the Quran. Shall we? Now he will say to me, the Quran is da'if, it's fabricated. And there is many uh, Christian and Hindus, they were behind the corrupt lesson the, of the translation and the Quran and Arabic too, you know. Let us read the Quran. Hmm. Who is here first time? If you are here first time, I advise you to leave immediately. Otherwise, you will have addiction. Me, myself, I heard myself for this time. I could not leave anymore. <laughs> True story. But I need four witnesses. <laughs> no problem. I have four old phones. They were there. So listen at this. It is he who created for all that you and earth. And then he went and he rose over toward the heaven and he made them seven heaven. So which one is finished first? Shall we show you the interpretation? Interpretation? I can show you 44 interpretation and all of them they agree that this is what is meant. Let us show you the first one of the 44. Okay? Or we can show Gubni Kathir if you want. I don't know. It's up to you. Which one? Which one you like? Be honest. Come on. Do you like ice cream with chocolate? you like ice cream with no ice cream? The Muslim is the only one who eat ice cream without ice cream. Why? Because this cream always... I mean, what the heck? Who need ice cream? This is the Middle East. You go to the Middle East, everybody's screaming. You don't know why, actually. They are screaming, but everybody's screaming anyway. So look at this. 
it is you who created for you that everything on earth and then he went up to the sky and the sky was and he and different verses says he was um, it was a smoke as we showed you in chapter 41 you forgot you know oh boy why we have only 526 okay we will change the topic and we will talk about lipstick today we will talk about very important topic for society Lipstick. What lipstick can do? Lipstick can make Prophet Muhammad look pretty. Prophet Muhammad used to put eyeliner three times a day. And he was very sexy and you know it. And not only that, Prophet Muhammad, he used to have a very, very, very good looking face. And not only that, his belly bomb. His belly bomb will drive you not. You will find yourself like you are really want to jump there. <laughs> You should watch the Muslim videos about how pretty your Prophet Muhammad. You will die laughing and how white he is because it is a racist religion. I mean, what the heck with this? So here we go. The number is increasing now. Look, Alhamdulillah, the number is increasing just because we look. Hold on. Let us change the, the icon of the video so we can get more audience. Okay, hold on, hold on. I will, I will, I will, I will do it. Hold on. You will see how people will come from everywhere. From every square, even from Travalka Square in England. Uh, okay. Let us see here. Oh boy. Hmm. It is service for lipstick. Take a break, take a break. No, that will not hurt. And will bring a lot of weirdo. Lips stick. I don't know even why they call it this way. Oh look at this. Now people will come from every corner of the earth. Oh, no, 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 hold on. This one even will be better. Let us watch the view. How many people will be here soon? Let us count. Lips, what she is doing. Is that advertising for Lips as Tech or for Biting? <laughs> Here we go, the number is increasing. I'm telling you, it's going to work. You know, those who join YouTube, they will see like uh, whatever, you know, she's kebab almost. Right away when you jump, you know. That's why you see like, you search for uh, off a grid video. What do you see? Just try off a grid video. I'm, I wanna watch people going off a grid. Why I'm seeing naked women? I mean, usually off a grid, people dressing because going to be in the wild, in the river, in the snow, it's going to be life is tough. But you see nothing but uh, <clears throat> what the heck is that? That will bring more people. 532. In less than two seconds, we get 10 more. Oh, forget about that. Oh boy. So, what is missing is that Muhammad and they will say to us that the Prophet Muhammad is the first one who discovered first lipstick. Omar Rabbi Aman. What? Is that a nice calling? You have a comment. Great and print. First of all, I can prove to you that the thick in my brother Prophet Muhammad. Like, what the heck, Zachary? Come on, this is too much, man. Great and print. First of all, it's not too much. In the time of the Prophet, was very cheap because the Prophet he liked to support women and he was a womanizer. I know that the part about womanizer, but how he support women. Simply, he made the, the lips very, very red. How he made their lips red. Very simple. In chapter 34, verse number 4, in the 34, verse number 34 in the Quran, it says, beat them. Okay. It says, beat them, yeah. Exactly. When you beat your wife in her lips, what will happen to your lips? Uh, she will bleed. Exactly. She will have a red lip, lip thick and for free. So, Christian friend, I got you busted, and you know it. Thank you very much. See, the Prophet is the first one who made women have lips thick by beating them. That is genius. Now I know where is the word genie, yes, is coming from. Genie, yes. 
unbelievable. Look, the number is increasing so fast. Masala, masala. Okay, let's go back to the topic. We took a break. Those women now they are searching. The, the ladies are now going in Google searching where they can buy this lipstick. They forgot the topic, but I did. Oh boy. This remind me what happened when I went to India. I wanted to warn them about Islam and I told them, do you know that the biggest chapter in the Quran is about the cow? Big mistake. You know? And not even one Muslim says to me, it doesn't say that, CP, because they saw the Hindu converting to Islam immediately. You don't say that to the Hindus. Hmm? All right. So when when this guy, when this, uh, this Abdul, he said what he said, that uh, iron is coming from the space, that would be even more funny because the Quran says it clearly that Allah created the earth before the heaven. And not only that, what scientists they say that some of the iron in the crust of the earth is from the space. They don't say that the iron we have is from the space. That is number one lie. Number two, Allah, in a Friday afternoon before any rain happened and anything fell down in the earth, because remember, anything fell from the space, it is when Allah, he shoots shaitan. Right? When Allah, he shoots shaitan. Allah, he created the earth and the heaven and whatever inside them, as we see in chapter of the cow, before even shaitan do anything wrong. And he was still in heaven. But anyway, here it says, and by the way, there is a stupid part of the story. So how Allah created Adam in heaven, and then he created the earth before, I mean, I don't know, like you see, the, the, according to Muslim, there is a tree, there is a garden, there is etc. And the Quran confirmed that Allah, he sent down Adam from heaven. And then we find the Quran saying Allah created the heaven before the, the earth before the heaven. And then we find that Allah, he ordered Adam and Shaitan to go down to it, which means the earth. And now we have the Muslim saying that iron is coming from the space, but Adam blood have iron. So if Allah, he sent the iron to the human being as a benefit, as the Muslim they claim, well, that's mean the iron have to happen before we are created. But the Quran in chapter 55, 57, verse number 25 saying, I send you the iron down, and I said the book. Why the Muslim did not take the book literally? And not only that, Allah, he says, I send down on them feather, libas and warish. So the Muhammadan, when they want, they make it literally. When they want, they say metaphorically. If we go here in the Quran, guys, are we having a good time or we switch to lipstick topic? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you go here in the Quran, chapter 7, verse number 26, it says that Allah, I mean, look, 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 look at the translation. Look at the translation, brother. It says here, O children of Adam, we have bestowed remnant upon you. Is that really what it says? In Arabic, it says, Rish, Rishan. You see the word Rish? Rish means feather. But did Allah really send on us clothing? Literally? Are we born with feather, as the Quran is saying? Because as you see here, it says, we send down in your clothing to cover yourself and feather and, again, he report the word, uh, you know, repeat the word the clothing again, which is stupid. What? You just said, we send down on your clothing and, and feather and clothing. If you change the translator here, and by the way, I like it where it says, uh, so screen your private part. So what the burqa for? To screen the prophet word? The bikini can do that. <laughs> the screen what? <laughs> uh, 
right, let us change the translator. This is chapter 7, verse number 26. Just for fun, just to show you how they lie when they translate. The word feather is not there no more. Eh, maybe the maybe the fox, he ate the chicken and the feather is gone. Things happen, you know. Things happen, brother. What you can do? Okay. Mm -hmm. We would both hide. We, we revealed to you. We have revealed to you dress. Like, what the heck? It now revealed. Since when dress is revealed, brother? It says, Anzalna. This edict he is using Google translation. You know? Because the word Anzalna appear in the Quran too. Like we send down the Quran. So the Muslim, they say, okay, we translate it as revealed. So this stupid now he is translating the word Anzalna for anything as revealed. But this is mean. Oh, I saw a vision of a clothing. I see a bikini. bikini. By the way, is, is it bikini or, uh, or bikini? I think we should have changed the name for Vikini. Because I saw a girl, her name is Vicky, was wearing it. I, I, I think it's Vikini. Because she is the first one who wore the, the Varkina Faso. So here it says, uh, the translation is false. It's five different translations. This is who? This is Ahmad Ali. No one, no, 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 Ahmad Ali. Ahmad Ali is famous with his lies. Okay, look at this. Ah, 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 ah. What happened? The word feather appear. Let me, let me zoom, zoom. Feather, finally we find the word feather. Like what the heck? The word feather disappear everywhere. Now I know who is the first man in this earth. He was an American Indian. Must be true. I saw them in the movie. They have feather in their head, but not in their private part. So this is the science, uh, we, we, you know. So the Quran says we send down the iron to kill each other, not because, you know. I mean, look, look how they lie. They say the Quran speak about the iron sent down. Let us go to the verses. Oh boy. If you go to the verses, you will see in the verses, Allah is saying supposedly, Aka Muhammad, we send our messengers and we send down with them books and we send down Aaron. So based on this, everything is literally literal. But we know that Allah did not send the book to Muhammad. He did not write a book and he sent it down. Secondly, was Muhammad sent from heaven? Number three, did Allah send any book with Adam down to earth? That's a good question. Number four, it says here, and we send down the scale. Did Allah send down a scale to measure things? For this is metaphorically. And we send the iron where, with a great might so you can kill each other. So what the Quran is saying, Allah created the iron for have a benefit and the Muslim can use it to protect Allah. Do you see it? So why you are lying saying about this is about Allah sending down the iron and the iron wasn't existing on the earth. First of all, anyone can go right now, all of you, you have Google peace be upon him. You can go and search and you will find iron is exist from the start of the earth existence. It's not something new. And if we go to the hadith, you will see the following too. This is your prophet, your da'if prophet, saying the following. And this is Sahih Hadith. This is Sahih Muslim, as you see. 2789. It says here, Allah created... Uh, the, the clay on Saturday, created the mountains in Sunday, created the trees in Monday, created all things in time and labor on t in t Tuesday, created the light in Wednesday, and he caused the animal to spread in, th in uh, Thursday, and he created Adam, peace be upon him, after a noon Friday, brother. Okay, I will go with you now. The first thing was created was the dirt. The second thing was created was the mountains. 
The third thing was created was the trees. All this time there's no iron. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> and there was no sky yet. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, today people are busy. It is uh, it is Saturday night, so people are outside. And actually, I started too late. People are asleep too, you know. But I said to myself, let me uh, let me give a chance for those who live in uh, some territory, you know, like uh, uh, the example. If you are a person who is Asian person who live in Brazil, you know, Brazil in Asia. In case you do not know, for Prophet Muhammad, he is the only one who found that. Uh, actually, there's a famous Muslim uh, historian. The Muslim they claim he's a historian. He went to an island. His name is Ibn Battuta. I don't know if you heard of him. Muslim they love him very much. Ibn Battuta, brother, he found an island and he swear by Allah and Prophet Muhammad that this is true. He found an island. All of it is women. Man, oh man! I search in Google everywhere trying to go there only women and not only that all the island women they have three boobs boing 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 three boobs in the battuta i mean the first lie is so big to believe but now the women have three boobs what happened to the fourth one and the Muslims are so proud about him they say see we have long before magellan we have long before what the heck Hmm. Yeah, only three. Only three. I, I will tell you why. It's more sexy and you know it. You know, like one in the right point, one in the left point, and one in the middle of the belly bump point. Actually, I think all women before they used to have three boobs and the, and that one have a flat, like somebody put a needle in it and became a belly bump. Uh, I got you busted. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, and Muslim did not even try to contact me yet. I don't know. Let's see if there's any Muslim. There's no Muslims. No. Nobody. Nobody no. Nobody no. Nobody no. No. Nobody. Nobody. Yeah. Actually, I saw, uh, uh, before I go live, I saw uh, there is four uh, uh, smart debaters. I mean, I want to know how even those this atheist and this Christian, he agree to sit with those idiots. I mean, do, do, what is this? I click in it and I heard this guy, do, do, do you remember this guy, uh, what his name, Perfect Dawa, I made him Perfect Falafel? He, uh, they were saying about uh, that cut their hands and cut their feet, etc. So the perfect guy, Dawa, he said to him, to, uh, you know, to David Wood or Abu uh, Prophet, this is about the Pharaoh, okay? This is about the Pharaoh. And you know, the, the funny about those debates, nobody used the word liar. They are very polite people. This is why there is no point, there is no point of this debate. What the, what the heck? No, get him busted. You know, what, what, what's wrong with those people? I, you know, I find those debates, especially with moderator, is a mockery of debate. And the channel here is called Modern Day Debate. I love all day debates. Unbelievable moderator, and then the moderator he get involved when he should not, so the other person he can run away. Very silly, very silly. Modern day debate. So any Muslim want to continue? Should we continue? Should we continue the lies of the Muhammadan? Let us let us continue. Forget about those guys. So here another another lie. Uh, Two seas met and they don't mix. Like, what the heck? They don't? Brother and sister. I don't want to call Zach and Mike. I mean, I want to leave that guy alone. Give him a, give him a vacation. Chris and Prince. First of all, I don't work for you and you can't give me vacation. Zach and Mike, how in the world you jump in the line? I did not even call you. Chris and Prince. We are at with peak right now. We are hacking your computer. And I now I have that your computer. Okay, as long as you are inside my computer, I'm going to go to the kitchen, get one cup of fresh water, another cup mixed with salt water, 
and I'm going to mix them together. Let us see if salty water and the fresh water they don't mix. <laughs> Can we do that? <laughs> you know, actually, this uh, this uh, uh, silly verse here, if we can quote a verse. <clears throat> Proving Muhammad to be a fool. <laughs> hmm. Muhammad and I are so smart to the point, they go and make a comment in the comment section. They say, brother, trust me, this is not Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik is my friend and he told me he did not call CP. Abdul, uh, uh, no comment. They are discussing if this is a true Zakir Naik, go and see the comment, you will not believe it. Print and print. First of all, you cannot make my voice, and nobody can make my voice because Allah, He made me unique. Uh, you know, uh, Zakir Naik, Allah, He made you unique. That's absolutely true. I cannot find like you anywhere. Can you? Ask your mom. <laughs> so, do see is meat and don't mix. Abdul, do you notice here something stupid in the verse? According to your stupid Quran, Aka Muhammad, the fresh water is a sea. the sea but you know I can say maybe at that time they used the word the word you use the word sea for anything like massive in size maybe we will let it go but if we go to the verse you will be sorry and you will say it doesn't say that CP hmm? you will regret shall we go there okay hmm. let us go <clears throat> We will find this is story, the same thing mentioned in two chapters, chapter 25, verse 53, and chapter 55, verse number 19. Christian Prince is a greater man than Muhammad. Are you insulting me now? Am you comparing me to Muhammad White? Am I, am, am I a, check, a, a child molester? Am I a thief, stole underwear of people? Do you, somebody told you I jump in the in the in the neighbor I take their laundry. Why are you comparing me to Muhammad man? What I did to you? Look, what the heck is that? Okay, I will forgive you this time. I will forgive you. Okay, next time I will throw you between the two seas where they never mix and you will be alone forever. Two seas they meet, but they don't. You just said they meet, and they don't mix. That is unique. Chapter 25, verse number 53, it says, <clears throat> and we will go to the other verse too. And it is he who lit the two seas, this one sweet, grateful to taste. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get that. Mm. Mm. True, this is true. And this is salty, let me get that too. Mm. Man, eat. I can't drink it. Sorry, sorry, I cannot. Okay, bitter. I told you to the tongue, and he sat between them a barrier and ban forbidden. What the heck? So the Quran says he sat between them a barrier. Mm. Abdul in Arabic it says. وَحِجُرٌ مَحِجُورًا Hijran coming from the word Hajar, Hujura, but separate things by rocks. If we go to your prophet Ibn Kathir, he will say to you, Allah, he made between both of them Barzakh, and Barzakh, which is a piece of land, a dry land between them. Let us go to uh, uh, Ibn Kathir. Shall we? If, if, if I click here, now we will go to the ellipsis deck. Ah, this is the barrier. Ah, no, not this one, man. Go to the other one. Okay. Mm. So we want this one now. <coughs> where, where we are? Where we are? Mm. Too many verses. Mm. Chapter again, 25, verse number 53. We go to Ibn Kathir, 25, 53. 
All right, this is Ibn Kathir, peace be upon him. And by the way, Ibn Kathir, he was a YouTuber in his time. He is a moderate comparing to the old, uh, you know, he was trying to defend the Quran. So this is a person who came long, long, long after Muhammad. And he was trying to, to protect Muhammad by saying lies like the YouTubers today. Uh, because now he get more educated, not like, uh, you know, the previous ones, Ibn Abbas, etc. So he tried to defend Islam, but look what he said. This is Ibn Kathir. All right. And that is salty and bitter, meaning it's salty, bitter, and say, uh, uh, to, uh, easy to swallow. Not easy to swallow. This is like, etc. Okay, the Gulf of Persia, you know, Mediterranean, blah, 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 blah. And then he says, and he has set a barrier, complete partition between them, meaning between the sweet water and the salty water. Barzakhan. See the word barzakh in Arabic? Hmm? Meaning a barrier which is a dry land. So, Abdul, the video you show us in YouTube about two water not mixing is a lie because they are mixing. But because the two water have different, there's a current, they keep coming. So, we see that line, but they are mixing every minute, every second. And here in the Quran, it says that this barrier preventing the salty water from the fresh water to meet ever. But this is scientifically false. Why? Because all the fresh water is coming from the salty water, which is the ocean. It's a cycle of rain, steam, rain, coming down to earth, river, and then go back to the sea. According to your stupid Quran, like a smart prophet Muhammad, Allah, he put a, par a partition between them, which will they never ever meet. And actually here, he quote for you the other verse, the one you mentioned, it says here, Marja al-Bahraini yaltaqiyan, baynahuma barzakhun la yabghiyan. Let us see what it mean. He has let loose the two seas meeting together, between them a barrier, they are not meeting really, which none of them can transgress. But science doesn't say that. Science they says that this water mix, even though it appears actually there's a, you can search right now, there's scientific videos not made by Christian, not made by Hindus, not made, made by, you know, scientists who they don't like all this uh, religion, brother. So, uh, they can between them so none of them can transgress you see it none of them so the mad Muhammad he think that the earth the land is separating between the fresh sea and the salty sea they never mixed actually Ibn Kathir he want to help you more in different verse, Ibn Kathir, he said, or oh, sorry, uh, uh, a Quran says, let us go there. Chapter 27, verse number 61. It says, isn't it he better than your God? And here we find it very funny to compare Allah and say it's better, you know, that's mean they are good. If you say I'm better than your God, that's mean they are good too. Stupid. Who has made the earth as a fixed abode hmm? and has placed river in the midst and has placed firm mountains. Look how many mistakes in this verse. Mountains placed in there, in there and has set a barrier between the two seas, between to bracket the salt and the fresh water. Do you see it? And if we go to Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir confirmed that this is yes, this is what this is the meaning. As you see in front of you. So why you lie? In fact, everything you mentioned to us until now is a pure mistake proving that Allah cannot be God. I think Saturday, uh, I mean Friday night is not really good uh, for like for those who live in America, right? I mean it's too late for them. 
and uh, it's good for those who live in uh, 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 like you know if you are an Asian who live like you know Asia as you know it's located like let me remember yeah I remember now I learned in the Middle East school that there is a place where the fl uh, flat sea the salty sea and the freshwater sea they meet Th that place is where the Asia is this is why there there's a lot of Asian. Unbelievable. I mean, first Asian, second Asian, third Asian, five Asian, seven Asian, ten Asians. I mean, you are out of number, by the way. And why we don't meet them? Because they're a barrier. Allah he put a barrier. Okay? And that make you in China now. Do we have any Muslim you want to say anything? Rohani Zan? His name is Rohani Zan? Is that an accident? Why Prophet Jesus can also erase sin? Is that a, is that a bad thing? Because he's God. Just get, get out of here. Get out of here. If you want to call me, call me. Why Prophet Jesus can erase sin? Because he's God, you idiot. He's not Prophet. You stupid idiot, your prophet, your Allah cannot erase sin. Look, look at this. As long you mention this, look at this, brother. Are you with me from Brazil in in, in Hulunulu? Huh? Look at this. Allah, he says to Muhammad, may Allah forgive your sin, Muhammad. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Jesus, he don't say, may God forgive your sin. He says, go and your sin is forgiven because he's God. Your God say uh, that may Allah forgive your sin. A question. Allah, I have a question. Christian Prince, I told you, don't ask questions. What the heck? I'm talking to Allah, Zakir Naik. Answer. Do you see it? That Allah may forgive your sin of the past and the future. And by the way, the Muslim, they have articles saying, that the Pope one day he used to sell documentation for the rich ones for giving their sin. Then when we check, we find that this is in the Quran. The past and the future, open license for sin. And by the way, it's not a granted yet. It's maybe. Look, look at this religion. This who is talking? They will say to you, Allah. Okay. How Allah he say me, Allah. I'm getting dizzy here. You should see my eyes like going in circle, like boing, 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 boing. Allah saying, may Allah for you. Allah, what the heck? Like I went, uh, you know, to do, to, to uh, like to the restaurant and I told the waiter, may, uh, may uh, Christian Prince pay you. The guy, he looked around like, what is the heck? Who, who is the other guy? He's eating alone. He said, what is the, you have to pay, sir? I said, okay, I told you. Yeah, Christian Prince pay you. And now he's waiting. So if your God Allah is God, he should say to Muhammad, you go and your sin is forgiven, but Allah making a wish? Wish, wish? I mean, what kind of God making wish? Man, I am a God, wish me. Good luck. <laughs> The Muslim, they say, where Jesus says, uh, worship me. Uh, 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 you should say to them, what kind of God he says, wish me. The wish God. Make a wish, Allah. Allah making a wish. And his wish is wishing that Muhammad's sin will be forgiven. Wish, wish. Wishy, wishy. Do we have any Muslim have an objection for all the scandals we discover in the Quran? Don't come to me and say to me you have a religion. You have shish kebab. This is the guy is, is mentally ill. As you see, even your scholars agree that according to the Quran, Allah he put a barrier between the fresh water and salty water and they will never mix. All of you who live in area next to the sea, and you have a river coming from the land to the sea. Go there and see if the fresh water and salty water is mixed. Go. 
when you see different in color simply because their current carry different water a water have maybe mud have etc so they have different structures it's like when there is a rain a river come with a lot of mud so you will see always like a line but they are mixing my friend there is no scientist in the world saying such a thing but in the top of that as you see the Sri Muhammad claiming that Allah he put a physical barrier physical which is a dry land and the word Barzakh is a physical piece of land which is separate between them and this is Ibn Kathir I mean, can you post Ibn Kathir for them so they can read and they can save it in their reference so this is not a scientific discovery this is scientific stupidity anyone have a question you know always when I go to the sea you know what I stand and the dry land between the fresh sea and the salty sea this way I can fish from the two water fresh water fish and salty water fish you know last time I will tell you this is a true story by the way I, I was fishing in the river and I got 70 foot uh, shark and then I said to myself okay how this shark is in a salt a fresh water you know 70 meter sorry 70 meter 71 72 I'm not sure by the way to be honest with you I said to myself how in the world the shark he is in the fresh water and then I remember do you remember the scientific discovery of a prophet Musa is going to meet Al Khadr and then the fish who Musa has got it from the river jump in the sea and she made a tunnel do you remember the story if you don't remember the story, I can show you the story, Mr. Science. <laughs> I mean, look who is talking about science. I'm dying here. Unbelievable. According to Muhammad, the Quran, by the way, used the word hut. Their wheel. But the Muslim, they claim that this is uh, a fish. In chapter 18, verse number 61, this is a uh, chapter 18 by the way is the most hilarious lovely thank God that the goat did not eat it I will shoot myself if this has happened and then I will shoot the goat so chapter 18 verse number you can read actually from before so this is about Musa's brother and you know you see the Quran how suddenly suddenly Allah is talking about different things and suddenly he says and remember when Musa said to his boy hey boy I will not give up traveling until I reach the junctions of the two seas. Like, what the heck? How in the world this verse now is inserted in middle of nowhere? I mean, where is the story? Where is, where is the story? How Musa suddenly became here? Well, what happened? I mean, obviously, there was a beginning of this story. And it's, it's missing, it's gone in the Quran. Because there is no way... I mean, we are talking about Microsoft and Bill Gates, he's telling people not to eat meat to save the earth. But he fly in jet and he have 60, 70 bodyguard with him and he's escorting you to save the earth not to eat meat and don't buy big houses. Yeah, and he live, by the way, in a small studio. Yeah. I mean, those people are disgusting creatures. Unbelievable. I spit on them and I will wash my spit again. Look here. And remember when Musa said to his boy servant, I will not give up traveling. Yes, Musa, don't give up. Don't give up. Never give up. Until I reach the two sanctions of the two seas. Until, or until I spend years and years traveling. Brother, don't tell me about it. I'm doing that for years and years. But when they reached the junction of the two seas, like, what the heck? It was so easy. Here, they are not giving up. After a second, they are there. Of the two seas, they forgot their fish. Oh boy. I mean, how the fish she jump in the scenario in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> Have you ever heard of a movie like this? And then they forget their fish. Like, what fish? Shouldn't tell us first that they have a fish with them? 
I mean, who is the author who wrote this story? So, and then they forgot their fish and took it uh, and took it away through the sea as in a tunnel. Like, what the heck? It is in the sea as in a tunnel? I'm out of words. I want to get this fish. This is a fish. We can fish you. So the fish brother was dead. Anyone knows what happened here? Who remember? Who remember? Let us see your memory. All of you are old. I'm the only young one here. And you know, that's why I like chapter 21. You know, close to my age. Next year I will be 21. I will be able to drink uh, Pepsi Cola. Huh? What happened? What happened? Anyone remember? Mr. Sayas, why you don't post for us the story of your prophet about the fountain of youth from the pirate of the Caribbean? If we go to the Hadith, <laughs> oh boy. Let us see. We want to show you the longer version of the story. Where is the story? Oh, okay. Let's show you this story here first. The chapter, the statement, remember Moses when he said this Quran. So this is explanation of the Quran. Where the Qala Musa li fatahu, etc., etc. So here you see the story. <clears throat> so when the when Moses and his servant they arrive. Uh, to the junctions of the two seas, there is a slave of ours who is more learned than, than you, Moses. Allah, he said to Moses. So Moses says, Oh my Lord, how I can meet him? He says, Take a fish with you and put it in a basket and where you will lose the fish, you will find him. What an easy way. The fish is dead. She is in the basket. When you lose the fish, and remember, Musa is traveling for years, supposedly. Long, long distance. But the fish, maybe it's a sardine in the can, uh, you know. So Musa, he took a fish, he put it in the basket, and he keep going, keep going with, the, with his servant, Yeshua ibn Nun. And they were reached the rock, which both sides uh, laid their head, and they slept. The fish moved vigorously. Like, what the heck? She's dead. <laughs> uh, how how the fish move, brother? What, what the heck? You know? And then the fish, she moved in the sea and she made a tunnel. And that's what Musa took later. In the sea, brother, he walked in the water like a rock. But in case you do not know, there's different hadith says that they found a fountain it's called the fountain of life. And some of the fountain water fall into the sea. Sorry, fall in the in the in the fish. Let us see, let us see. Where, 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 where? Uh, I think here. Ah. Uh, now I know where 
<coughs> the Pirate of the Caribbean, the Fountain of Youth. They were looking for it coming from. Here we go. So uh, his, his, his servant, so Musa sat along with his ser uh, servant, attendant, Yeshua bin Nun. Look, look, his name is bin Nun. And according to the Quran, Nun mean a whale. So his name is Yeshua ibn Nun, the son of the son, the son of the whale. And they carried with them a fish till they reached the rock and rested there. Musa put his head down and slept. Sufyan, sub narrator, said that somebody other than Amr said, "What the heck? Somebody other than other somebody?" So somebody he said to somebody and somebody other than somebody. I mean, it's clear now. And by the way, although somebody is not even there. Uh, so yeah, it's, anyway, so at the rock, there was a water spring called Al-Hayat. Hayat mean life. My friend, income daily, stop posting same thing. My guys, please. I mean, we are not blind. That's it. Focus with me on the topic. Uh, guys, do you agree Christian Prince is greater than Muhammad? No, we don't agree. Why are you comparing me to a scumbag? To be greater than him, I have to be child molester, thief, criminal, and liar. That will make me greater in, in the lies than him and crimes. What's wrong with you? One more time you post it, I will send you free shipping and hand it to Allah. Or to the whale next to the fountain of youth. One more time you, you post it after you hear me. I know that there's a delay because I'm speaking from behind the seven seas next to the whale. And from Amr, sub-narrator, Sufyan, he said that somebody said other than somebody, from somebody to somebody. And none, so there's a, a spring of water called uh, Al-Hayat, which means the life, and none come in touch with it. It's water, but became alive, that's me. That's me. Once, brother, I was taking an airplane, airplane crash. Crash. All of us became like pieces. But it happened, brother, that they have a bottle of a crush Coca-Cola. Coca Coca-Cola crush. And this ball was a fly in the sky coming from the airplane, but because we are heavier, we came down first. And this ball crush and in the top of me. And uh, look what happened. This bubbly water was coming from the fountain of youth, and then the water crushed on me, and I came back alive again, the same as that fish true story. Okay, and now, so some of the water from the spring of life fell over that fish, so it moved the brother and slipped out of the basket to the sea. And then, brother, when the fish went in the sea, she made a tunnel like rock in the water. So they follow the tunnel. When they arrive, they arrive in the middle of the sea and they found a prophet Al-Khadr, which means Mr. Green. Do you know why they call him Mr. Green? He was called Mr. Green because he drank from the fountain of life. And since then, anytime he sat on a grass, even if it is dead dry, he sweat and fountain of ass is coming from his it's fountain of ass now not fountain of life and water come from his ass so it make everything green so they call him Mr. Al-Khudr Prophet Al-Khudr because simply brother he is uh, he make he know he make everything green do we need him we need him right now we need him we need Al-Khudr all what we need to do you know we take Al-Khudr everywhere you know I want to take with, take him with me hunting I will never take any water with me so so the, 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 the whale jumped from the basket in the sea. When Moses wakes wake up, he asks his student, bring our early meal. Like, what the heck? Are you going to eat the fish with Allah? I told you, don't eat it, you idiot. Isn't it Muhammad, he said, that uh, the Quran says, when you lose your fish, you will find him? So now why Moses want to eat the fish? I mean, what kind of author he wrote this book, brother? Allah told him in the Quran, take the fish with you, and when you lose your fish, that is the place you will find Al-Khadr. 
But what I don't understand, why Moses want to eat the fish? <laughs> you want to eat your GPS? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I better finish here. Otherwise, people might go crazy and many people convert to fish, religion, religion, Islam, whale, jumping. And this is science, brother. Fountain of youth. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, you would like to be young again. Subscribe to my channel. I will give you one drop of Al Hayat fountain. One drop can change your life. Commercial break. Do you like to live? Do you like to live? Do you like? We have the cure. We have the cure. We have. Fountain of youth. Fountain of youth. Call our number. Al Hayat.com. Zero, 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 dead you are. We will make you alive. Call us now. What the heck? That is so scientific. And those brothers, those certain, those certain testicles, I don't know, if, not those, hold on. Not those. Not those, not those two. Where is, where is that scientific testicle? Oh, hold on. And those certain, 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 certain the fiku, according to the Muhammadan, they converted to Islam. And I will not be surprised, by the way, if they lie about half of them. They did not. Brother, they found the fountain of youth. And this is why this guy, he looks so old. He discovered now, by the way, we cannot see him no more. You know why? Because he drank from the fountain of youth. And that's the guy too. And this woman, she was like uh, in her uh, 110, brother. She went one drop. One drop, she became like Mimi Hijab. With the crazy hair. And this guy, the guy, he took a whole cup of fountain of youth. And this guy too, this guy even before Muhammad was born. I mean, Muslims, they don't know how to lie. Shakespeare converted to Islam. George Bush converted to Islam. Armstrong convert to Islam. George Bernard Shaw convert to Islam. I mean, what the heck? But why not? Muhammad, he converted the enemy of Allah, Mr. Lizard, to Islam. Hey, by the way, Muslims, how the lizard is the enemy of Allah, and then he converted to Islam, brother? What the heck? And, the, uh, uh, you know, when you say that the enemy of Allah is a mice and a lizard, I mean, your enemy is in your size. Don't you know that? Learn from me. Take my quotation. Your enemy is your size. So if my enemy is a mice, that means I'm in the mice, same as the mice. I mean, what kind of God who created the universe, his enemy is a lizard and a mice? Me. Did we have a good time together today? Huh? Did we? Don't you feel like converting? Be honest. I mean, come on. We have to be honest here. The fountain of youth. You know, you know. I'll tell you this true story, by the way. My mom, once she opened the room, at that time I was like 25. She opened the door, she looked at her son, she cannot find it. She, she saw an infant on the bed. She started when I called the police. My son is gone. We cannot find him. We find somebody took my son, kidnapped him, and replaced him with infant. Because I'm an infant, I could not talk because I drank too much from the water. I forgot I should drink only one drop. I drank a lot. And then I became younger and younger and younger and younger and younger. And then wah, wah, wah. I'm trying to tell her, don't call the police. I'm here. I'm here. Hello. Hello. But she don't understand the language of infant, you know? So they called the police and until now they are looking for me. And then she said to herself, you know what, maybe God, he, uh, he will let me uh, adopt a new son. This infant, I found him in my bed. So she think I am adopted son. Can you believe it? <laughs> True story, by the way. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, 
when I say stupidity is amazing, I mean it. You know, you know what the number one enemy for me is a stupidity. Unbelievable. I mean, how in the world any human being can believe in such a garbage? What's wrong with people? Man. My, my story is more convincing than Muhammad's story. The guy, he carried a whale in a basket. And then he went to look for Al-Qadr. And Allah told him, when you lose the whale, you will find him. And then Musa, he said, I'm going to eat the whale. You stupid Musa, you want to eat your GPS? Allah told you when you lose the whale, not when you eat the whale. He, yeah, you know, he told his servant, uh, go and bring me uh, the early meal. Uh, it's called early meal. Early meal, early meal. What an amazing translation. So guys, uh, ladies, ladies, who want to make me a sandwich as early meal? Early meal. Huh? Nice song. Okay, guy knows. You, I did not sing. This guy is saying nice song. Okay, you are hearing me from your nose. This is why I got it. Your name is Guy Knows, huh? Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Nice song, huh? Yeah. So, uh, anyone want the reference for this hadith? Who want the reference? Give me one. If you want the reference, give me one. Nobody is posting one. Nobody want the reference. Priceless reference. We have only one. My, my people here, they hate to vote, you know. They are anti-Trump. We have two one now. A three one, four one. Five. You guys are cheating. How you can get all those ones in your keyboard? Who's going to believe you now? Three ones? What the heck? Cheater, cheater, A, B. A, B, I got you busted. A, A, A. Little deer. I mean, look, guys, look, look. Let me show you how they cheat in the voting. See, this is how Biden, he did one the election. Look. Little deer, you've been exposed. You have a three. <laughs> you think I'm an Arab, and now I'm going to count you as a three. It doesn't work with me. I'm not a Muslim. Hey, hey, hey. What kind of voting this voting is? What's wrong with people? How am I going to do that now? I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> okay, if you don't want the reference, give me one. Let us make a vote, correct vote. If you don't like reference, give me one. Okay. One, okay. All right, so now I'm more confused because some of you give me one because they don't like reference and some of you give me one because they like reference. How in the world do I know who like it, who don't? Anyway, this is the reference. Have fun. And don't forget to tell uh, tell all your friends to go with you to camping, to find the fountain of life where you will become youth again and live forever. And by the way, according to Muslim, you can ask any Muslim, Prophet Al-Khadr was exist in the funeral of Noah. Yes, brother. And he was exist in the funeral of Aaron, Aaron, and the funeral of Moses, and he was exist in the funeral of Prophet Muhammad. Do you know why? All of this because he drank from the fountain of life. Brother, that's what we need. Imagine Joe Biden never die. That is hell. I mean, the price of a chicken is like a crazy. If he stay alive for the coming 20 years, we would eat mosquitoes for lunch. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you had a good time. Did we have a good time? Did we? I hope so. So, as you see, Muslims, they fabricate lies in order to make their religion look like one. It's not even a religion.
it's a mix of fairy tale stories. This man, Muhammad, is an idiot. Wherever he hears stories from the Jews, stories from this, from that, he put it in the Quran. Uh, flying carpet, uh, the ring of Solomon. I used, I used, by the way, I used to have it. You know, when I used to have that ring, man, women, they love me. You know, I, I wear the ring. I walk in the street. I say, do you love me? Every single woman, she said yes. She said yes. All of them. And later I discover why. Because they heard that this ring will make them beautiful. So after they love me and we go for first date, second date, she steal the ring. And then I am not the king. End of the story. So brother, don't let women never take your ring to the... Because Suleiman, he gave his ring to his wife, al -Jarada. Why? Because he want to enter the bathroom. I mean, stupid Suleiman. How in the world do you leave your ring, which making you a king with your wife? She will wear it. She will become a king. She will change his gender now because of the ring. True story, science. True story. Anyone have an objection of what we said from the Mohammedan, please leave your comment and tell us more about your science so we can make more videos. I want to say thank you all for being here. I pray to the Lord that the Lord will open the eyes of the Muslims. We pray to the Lord that Christians who they are ignorant, who they are Christian by name, they knew their belief, and they knew the Lord, the Messiah, the Savior. We have the true, true, true God. The, the person who said, carry your bed and walk. That is our God. The person who said to the blind man, see and he saw the person who raised people from death the person who is alive our lord the messiah is the walking talking living word of god for he is god the word of god is the will of god is everything about god for god and his word is one so we say to the muslims repent before it's too late the Holy God will not give you virgins. He is not a pimp. You are insulting God. The Holy God will not give you a bracelet. That is silly. And not giving you a pillow. That is more silly. And he will not give you a couch. That is even more stupid. God, his gift fit with him. Only silly ones, pervert ones, their gift is sex. A lot of it. Not with the women you like, not with women you love, but the women you never met, and thousands of them. For your God, he encourages you to be a lost person. He wants you to be tempted, as Satan always tempts human being. Repent before it's too late and come back to Jesus. Thank you all for being here. I pray the Lord will keep you all safe and I hope the Christians who learned what they learned today, they will teach, they will share, they will tell their friends and feel free to download my videos. My videos are for free. Everything I do is for free. And the Lord, he says, for free you took, for free you give. Thank you. And God bless you and see you soon again. Take care. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun.
that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 